lover boy Peter Strzok is going before Congress to try and set the record straight that he's not a totally biased dirtbag, which means he's basically cut from the same Comey cloth, thinks he's a savior and wants a book deal. He can suck an egg. Why does this pariah get the closed door treatment so we're forced to use our imaginations to reconstruct events, sources, and methods? It's like Harry and Meghan's wedding night all over again, right up here. I want to see grown-ups hammer the former head of FBI's counter-espionage unit to see if he violated his spy powers to try and stop the electoral beatdown President Trump delivered to Mrs. Glass Ceiling in 2016. Strzok had not only an inordinate amount of oversight and influence, he also had years of counterintelligence training and an invisibility cloak that would allow him to monkey with the federal election like some bitter Russian hacker. Unfortunately, he couldn't keep his smartphone in his pants and was too dumb to realize that brachiating from one investigation to the next might raise some red flags when the town whistleblower got wind of his extracurricular pipery. Struck fancies himself a dedicated patriot whose work and ethic and record speak for themselves. But sadly for him and his lovesick longings, not for Lisa Page, but for Hillary, ooh, he was overwhelmed. Actually, he overwhelmed his built-in bias control when he let his fingers do the talking. He was the lead investigator in the Hillary server investigation. But long before his boss concluded HRC was merely careless, he was declaring her odds of winning at 100 million to zero. Damn that tricky electoral map. 100 million one to zero. 100 million to zero. That was, he wrote that in a text. Doot, doot, doot. I want to see his face when he answers how he shelved her case in favor of the Trump collusion cacophony that, by his own admission, had, quote, no, they're there. They're there, Romeo. Somehow he goes right from the server frying pan into the Russia fire, spearheading the Flynn investigation along the way before flying into the Mueller toaster right before landing in hot water over his amorous yet sterile electronic love missives to Lisa Page. He deserves the heat, the scrutiny, and the screws that only a public airing of such filth can bring. And Congress doesn't owe him an insurance policy for his part in bringing shame to the Bureau and chaos to the country.